When you're shaping models, one of the most important things to remember is that it's easiest to create a rough shape first, then add detail later. With that in mind, I want to create an elephant. So the first thing I need to do is make a rough shape. I'll click the Shapes button and add a single block to the project. The box isn't the right general shape for an elephant, so I need to add more material to it. I'll click the Add Material button and add a layer to the front of the box to make a rectangle. The shape is now long enough for the body, so I'll next add rough versions of the legs by adding three blocks of material to the four corners on the bottom of the shape. This will work for the body of the elephant, but it still needs a head and neck. So I'll add another layer to the front for the neck, and then two more for the head. On the last layer, I won't add material to the left side so that I can show you a trick with the mirror command. I'll press Escape to deselect the button, and the elephant's shape is mostly roughed in. It's still missing its ears, tail, and trunk, but before I can add those in a way that makes sense, I need to shape it to look more like an elephant. Since elephants, like most animals, are symmetric, I want to add a mirror down the middle of it. The mirror will make sure that everything looks the same on both sides of the mirror line. And to add it, I'll simply select an edge in the middle of the elephant and select Mirror from the toolbar. A red line appears through the middle of the elephant to show where the mirror is. And the front layers that I left incomplete are filled in so that they match the reflection on the other side of the mirror line. With that added, I'll switch to a side view and start the reshaping by making the stomach fatter. I'll double click the edge in the middle of the stomach to select the whole loop, then use the yellow scale handle to fatten its middle. To match the curve to the back of the body, I'll next window select the top back corner and pull it in to round it. Finally, I'll window select the back middle faces and pull them out a little. The body is now better. So I'll next shape the neck and head. I'll start by window selecting all the points to the left of the front leg and moving them toward the body to shorten the neck. I'll then thin the neck by window selecting the faces that make it up and shrinking them to match the body's curve. For the head itself, I'll start by window selecting the front few faces and shrink them slightly. I'll pull back both the front edge and the top of the head to give it shape. Then mirror the actions on the bottom faces to smooth out the chin and neck. You can always add more detail and get a better look by playing with it more, but for now, this is good so the shape of the body is done and ready for more detail. The first detail I want to add is to the legs, so I'll rotate the model so I can see the bottoms of the feet. Then select only the right two feet. Since the mirror is still active, any changes to these two feet will be mirrored to the others. I'll click Sharpen from the toolbar and all four feet flatten. I'll pull them up toward the body to shorten them, and they're done. In addition to helping copy changes, the mirror will also copy additions across the mirror line. That means that I can form a matching set of ears by simply making one with the mirror active. To stack them, I'll select the two middle faces on the side of the elephant's head, then click Split Face from the toolbar to create a thinner face to form the ear from. I'll then click Add Material and add two layers of blocks to the center face of the split to form the ear's rough shape. To add detail, then I'll switch to the front view, turn off Add Material, and start by window selecting the outer ear and moving it up and out. 
I'll then pull the outer bottom corner down and in and add depth to the ear by window selecting the center point and moving it back toward the body. I next want to add the trunk, but since I don't need the mirror anymore, I'll first double click on it, then delete it from the toolbar. None of the mirror geometry is removed, but the mirror line remains as an edge. I'll double click it and delete it since I don't need it, and I'm ready to make the trunk. To start it, I'll split the front face like I did with the ears, and then pull the center face out a little to give it a believable shape. With the face still selected, I'll click Add Material from the toolbar to add a block of material to the selected face. I'll click the front face of the new material, pull it up and out, then rotate it to face up and add more material to its end. I'll repeat the process twice more until I have a finished trunk. Then flatten the final face for the nose and the trunk is complete. The final part of the face is the mouth. And to start it, I'll once again split a face, this time the one beneath the trunk. I'll split the center face once more and push that face into the body to form the back of the mouth. Finally, I'll shape the mouth by moving the bottom edge of the lip up. And most of the elephant is complete. The final thing it needs is a tail, so I'll rotate around to the back and split the center back face like I did for the trunk. I'll once again pull out the middle face to help with the shape, then add material. I'll select the end face, but this time I'll shrink the face as well as pull it down and angle it. With that, the elephant is done and ready to be styled.